What's up guys, this is Chris here with Zillow Elite Gaming. I'm going to show you guys how I completed the Firebird Set Dungeon Mastery. Alright, first off you need 6 pieces of Firebirds. You can't use the Ring of Royal Grandor. The pieces I used were gloves, shoulders, helm, chest, legs, and offhand. I kept in my intelligence gems. Um, don't use a life gem in your helm, any other gem will work. I used the Traveler's Pledge and the Compass Rose. It's kind of, you know, people, oh, but you don't want that toughness, you know, that 50% damage reduction while you're moving. It's really not going to matter because nothing's going to hit you anyways until you're standing still and you want them to. So, I used that. That 100% while standing still is actually helpful. Um, Reaper's Wraps. Health Globes restore 30% primary resource. It helps while you're going through, you know, if you, you're teleporting a lot, you need some more resource. Um, I kept on my Halo. Um, the only legendary gem I kept on was Bane of the Trapped. I took out all of the rest. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce this belt, but I use this belt. Um, reduces Disintegrate Arcane Power Cost by 58%. We are using Disintegrate, so it helps out. Um, Aether Walker. This is pretty important. Teleport no longer has a cooldown but costs 25 arcane power. It's really important, you know, to get around. What if you forget a monster and you have one monster left, you know, to complete your mastery, which you'll see happens to me. All right. No first boots. Um, increased damage and meteor by 100%. I'm pretty sure this doesn't work with Firebird's two-piece, but I'm not sure. Um, if you're 100% sure and you know it doesn't, you can swap out the boots, you can put on some Mage Fist with Firebird's boots, whatever, as long as you have your 6-piece. As for Paragon, Core, um, no Vitality, everything else is fine, Intelligence, Movement Speed, Max Arcane Power, um, Offense, I left everything, Attack Speed, Cooldown Reduction, Crit Hit Chance, Damage, Defense, Reset it completely, um, Utility, not and nothing's really a big deal. Life, life on hit. It's not like it's life regen, so really, it's not, it's not really detrimental. But I just reset it anyways. All right. As for the cube, death wish um, while channeling arcane torrent disintegrate, which we're using, um, or ray of frost damage is increased by 100 percent. Basically, this will help you kill things faster once your objectives are completed. You pretty much are just going to complete your objectives as quickly as possible and then go around and kill everything that's left. Illusionary boots. Yeah, you can teleport, but moving unhindered through enemies, especially with, you know, 45 or more enemies, you know, huge masses, really helps out. You're going to want these. Um, Talisman of Aranok. Prevent all cold damage taken. Heal yourself 15% amount prevented. All right. This is detrimental to the build. This is the whole build right here. All damage you will take, aside from melee hits from the big guys, which is how you'll kill yourself, is going to be cold damage. Um, you're going to hate yourself if you go into the you know the set dungeon without this. Um, you might not even complete the mastery. I, I really don't know. Um, I just put it on. You're going to want it. Alright. Now... What we need to do here is show you some skills. Disintegrate, Convergence, um, Mirror Image, Duplicates, it's not a huge deal. Really not. Um, I use it because they do 10% of the damage of your own spells. So if you're trying to just take someone down a little bit but you don't want to hit, you, you can't quite hit them with your spell because it'll kill them. Um, you know, pull out your Mirror Images, just be careful if you have a big mass, they taunt. Um, with the duplicates rune so um, you know you you want to wait till they're all grouped back up before you do your second objective which you'll see here soon teleport wormhole wormhole for the extra um, teleport familiar with spark flint for the 10% increased damage you don't use it right away I'll show you that here shortly as well um, same with magic weapon force weapon so you get that extra 10% damage increase wave of force heat wave um, I'm using Heat Wave because I have fire damage, but don't use anything like debil debilitating force. You don't want them to, to do reduced damage because you want one of them to be able to kill you. As for my passives, um, don't use anything that's going to increase your damage or keep you alive like Galvanizing Ward or Unstable Anom Anomaly. Um, no Blur or anything like that. Um, no Audacity. Um, the only one here that I'm actually using that helps me really is Glass Cannon. Um, you don't want the 15% increased damage, 
but the 10% decrease to armor and resistance is really helpful when you need to die. Next, what you're going to do is go to Act 2. You're going to go to the archives of Zoltan Cool. Instead of going to fight him, which is this way, you go this way, you go backwards to the Desolate Sands. Alright. And then the only way to go is across this bridge. Go across this bridge. And once you get here, you'll see it'll always be right here. You'll see a pillar start to form. The portal will come up. It'll say that you're um, you're worthy. If you come here, like I said, with um, five pieces on and a royal grandeur, you're not going to see it pop up. It won't pop up. And then we'll get to the rest. All right, now once you're ready to go, go ahead and click it. Enter the set dungeon, and there will be two objectives you have to complete. When there's more monsters in the first room, you know, say you have 45 monsters, your odds of killing 20 out of 45 for the second objective are better. What I did to practice is I just entered and did the second objective until I mastered it. Once you master the second objective, the entire thing is easy. There's no sense finding out that you fail the second objective all the way through the dungeon. So once you get them all together, wave force, spawn your duplicates. Um, don't have spark flint or magic weapon active yet that's 30 percent increased damage once you have them where you feel that they're going to die from your meteor you activate the two of them and then you stand still so that you get the 100 percent compass rose traveler pledge damage increase and you get rid of the damage reduction teleport up to a big guy so he can smack you to kill you and then here he goes this is slow motion for you I spam wave force just in case because it seems there's a delay but I'm not sure okay killed 20 of them teleport away you know and if there's two big guys or whatever you don't want to die right after that and if you take crucial damage again right after that you fail and then you want to go back and you want to kill you know especially like right here this little guy he would have ruined my whole mastery because I, I would have been on the other side of the dungeon so basically you want to make sure you kill all the stragglers real quick you know um, Kill them as fast as you can, and then once you do that, we'll get on to objective one. As you see there, I picked up some health globes, kind of helps with arcane power. Um, you just have to get a feel for how many monsters, you know, it's always going to be different how many is in each room, but you want to, you don't want to short yourself. The first three rooms, basically, um, or the, uh, excuse me, the first room, you want to at least get bonus objective two. Sometimes you can get w um, one out of three at the same time. The sec this second room here, you want to try to get, um, you know, 45 enemies set on fire within three seconds. Once again, kill the stragglers real quick. You know, they kill you, whatever, as long as you have your firebirds. Go to this next room. Um, basically, it's it's not always going to be set up the same as what you see here, but, you know, it's always it's going to be close. So what you want to do, get another 45, you know, kill these guys real quick, and then on to the next. If you see, like, four random enemies by themselves or, like, a little group like this, you can kill them because you don't want to waste all that time to drag them up to the next room. You know, we still have, like it says, 61, I believe, enemies left. So then you drag these ones through this room. Basically, you can wave force. Um, my The best way I found to do it is you can disintegrate either straight or you can just spin around in a circle while using disintegrate and it'll just hit all of them. As you, I'm pretty sure I do it again here. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yep, spin in a circle, disintegrate, boom, you hit all of them. And then all the objectives are complete. Kill, start killing all the stragglers, um, the glacial monstrosity guys, you know, kill them. Check up there. That's important. I've left monsters up there before. Always shoot up there, check, whatever, you know. At this point, this is pretty much just how fast can you complete it from here. The worst part though is you'll see coming up is when you have a straggler you know across the room or something you waste 10 seconds um, you know I could have completed this a lot faster especially if I would have got one out of three with my first explosion um, when I was doing objective two I've done it before 
And then um, I still failed because I had a straggler like right here. I don't know where he's at, but then I found him. All right. Did it in 334. It's not too bad. All right, guys. Once you complete this, you get Master of the Fire Top Dungeon. You get a banner dealie, all sorts of cool stuff for doing these set dungeons. Um, if you like this video and it helped you out, go ahead and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go check out my Twitch live stream. Lots of cool stuff going on there. Um, Elite Gaming. Be one of the EG boys. Come join Elite Gaming. It's my clan in Diablo 3. Um, prefer... Um, active players, people who are looking to, you know, seriously progress, I guess I don't prefer it, that's what I want. Um, if you're looking for something like that, you know, a pretty up, upbeat, fast-paced environment, go ahead and um, B-tag me. My battle tag is on my Twitch live stream. I'll have it down below in the description as well. Um, I can give you an invite. Go ahead and, um, you know, message me, whatever you got to do. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.